Hello students, welcome to Meso study. So in the today's session, we will be talking about one type study that is cockroach. So the topic of today's class is cockroach. Cockroach, right? You all have seen cockroaches in your houses. But today we will be talking in detail. We will be talking about the general characters. We will be talking about the different systems as well. So, as per the cockroach is considered, the common name of cockroach is called as a Periplaneta Americana. So, this is called as a Periplaneta Americana. Scientific name is Periplaneta Americana. Right. So, in the cockroach, when we see the classification of cockroach, cockroach belong to phylum Arthropoda. They belong to phylum Arthropoda. Belong to phylum Arthropoda. It belong to class Insecta. Class Insecta. And kingdom animalia and it belong to kingdom animalia so I'm writing over here it belong to kingdom animalia Kingdom Animalia, right? This is a cockroach called as a Periplaneta Americana, Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Arthropoda, and the class Insecta. Now, what about the color of these organisms? These are blackish, somewhere reddish, and somewhere other you can see these are the greenish also in color, right? Because it belongs to the Phylum Arthropoda, tell me one thing what is the characteristics of the Phylum Arthropoda? They are having a jointed legs. When we see the whole body, whole body is divisible into head, thorax and abdomen. Whole body is covered with a cuticle, right? An exoskeleton present which is called as a cuticle and body is segmented. The whole body is segmented. So, hope you remember the session when I have discussed about the animal kingdom. Hope you remember the last class. Here, I, that time I have told you that uh, they were having the, uh, like Anelida and Arthropoda, they were those which were having the segments present with them. So, let us write about the characteristics of these cockroach. So, as cockroach belongs to the phylum Arthropoda, so that is why can I say they have a jointed legs, jointed legs present. They have as a jointed leg present. Now, one more whole body is covered with exoskeleton, body covered with exo skeleton body is covered with exoskeleton so when we see the body of these individual they are converted or they are they have a different segments so segments are present all over the body are present all over the body segments are present all over the body and these segments which are present all over the body they are called as sclerites they are called as sclerites they are called as sclerites so these segments which are present on a broader category we have divided the whole body into three types three forms sorry body divided into divided into head, thorax and very important abdomen. Right? So, now let us talk about the size of cockroach. That is from 34 to 
53 millimeter. 34 to 53 millimeter. To talk more about this peri planeta Americana, the whole body, as we know, they are divisible into seg segments. Now, let's talk about its general habit and habitat. They always prefer to live in a dark and damp places. Dark and damp places. They love to live there. Live places, right? Now, these are those organisms who are nocturnal. Who are nocturnal. Now, what is nocturnal? Nocturnal are those organisms which love to come at night. So, they are always night active. Who are active at night? Night active. Night active. Right? They always lay egg. So, they are oviparous. They are oviparous. They are oviparous, right? The external structure, we can see that up two pairs of wings are present. One is called as a fore wing and second is called as a the hind wing present. Now, to talk about the legs also, the three pairs of legs is present in this case. So, they have a three pairs of legs, of legs and two pairs of wing two pairs of wings present three pairs of legs and two pairs of legs. three pairs and two pairs one is called as a fore wing second is called as a hind wing fore wing and hind wing so, the three pairs of legs are present and each of these pairs of the legs, they arise from a separate segment of thorax. One pair of leg, they arise from a prothorax, prothorax, second arise from a mesothorax and the third is called as a metathorax, metathorax, right. Now, these are the certain characteristic feature of this cockroach which belong to the phylum animalia. We have discussed about they are having a jointed legs, whole body covered with exoskeleton. Segments are present all over the body and which are called as a sclerete. When we see the head also, the head is also made up of the different six segments. They also have a neck present which connect the body towards the, uh, the prothorax region. After that, we have a prothorax region and later on we have is a mesothorax and after that we have is a metathorax region. And below this the abdomen is present the 10 segments are present in abdomen when we see the external the end structure of these there is a very clear cut distinguishing feature in case of male and the female in case of female there is no anal circus present anal cerci present rather than this is present only in case of sorry anal style present in case of male but this anal uh, style is not present in case of female but they both are having anal styles right now, let's see how this cockroach look like. So, hope you have noted down this. Then we will be discussing about each and every part one by one. So, first to talk about the mouth of these organisms, the mouth is a triangular shaped structure. So, when you see the mouth of these, they are having a triangular shaped structure like this. Compound I is present towards both the end. Compound I is present towards both the end, right? And you can also see that near the eye, the antennae they arises. So these are the antennae which arises. And these antennae, they are having a sensory receptor present. So, they used to sense any kind of predator is there or the sense is a very de well developed in this case. Similarly, after that, one region is present, thorax. And after that, there are different segments as per the abdomen are considered. In abdomen, you can see the total 10 segments are present. So, whenever you are drawing a diagram of this, just mention that these are the different segments which is present in them. So, in this case also, for that, need some colors. This 
this is just to show you how cockroach look like that means how st structure of these cockroach look like if uh, something uh, some question comes from this do not draw this diagram this is how the cockroach look like or don't waste your time if it it, it is of a uh, short answer type question rather than go for uh, uh, some internal when we will be talking about the digestive system at that time you can go for it but not before that this is how the different segments are present four five six seven eight and after that we have is one more and we can see that this is the region where structure like this is present hope it is looking like a cockroach so in fact it is a bit structure like this healthy cockroach this is a healthy cockroach fatty cockroach right so this is how a cockroach look like this is the anal sarcus present at the end so this is how the body is divided now in this case also the wings are present the first pair of wing that is a four wing they always start from mesothorax so this is a mesothorax and here the wings are present the first pair of wings that arise from this and there is a difference between the pair of wing the two wings they are different the first wing the four wing which is a leathery and opaque wing it, it is so this is a four wing and next we have is a hind wing present which is a transparent wing so when you see a structure of the hind wing the hind wing look like this this is a hind wing so whenever it is in resting condition whenever it is not flying at that time the fore wing covers the hind wing right so here you can see the structure of wing is present like this now it is covered wings wings have covered the whole body structure now even in this case as i have discussed the three pairs so here the membranes are present so to show you that the upper wing or the fore wing is a dense very dense structure opaque structure leathery structure the very important part in this is the mouth part of cockroach biting and chewing type of mouth part is present in this case biting and chewing type of mouth part is present even in this case this is a structure which has covered their half of abdomen here these are wings hope you are getting what i am trying to say now wings have covered the fore wing has covered the hind wings now in this case also this is a thorax region this is a thorax region here the mouth is present this is called as a eye so let's label each of these this is the antennae present antennae present so even to talk about the leg legs in this the three pairs of legs are present let's see
Similarly, So, this is how the legs are present, three pairs. Now, let us start label each of these. What is this? This is antenna. Antenna. These are having a sensory organ present in them. Now, this is called as a compound eye present. Compound eye present. Right? This is called as a mouth. Here, the mouth is present. Mouth is present. This whole structure is called as a head. This is called as a head. And what is the shape of head? Head is triangular. Triangular in shape. Right? After that, can you see this region, the center region? This is called as a thorax region. Thorax region. From the thorax region, these leg arises. This first leg is called as a prothorax. Pro thorax leg, pro thorax leg. After that, the next leg is called as a mesothorax leg, mesothorax leg. After that, this region is called as a metathorax, metathorax leg. These are the three legs which is present. Now, let us talk about the wings. This is called as a four wing. Forewing. Forewing is the that structure which arises from the mesothorax. So, this arises from mesothorax, which arises from mesothorax. Now, this is a membranous wing which is called as a hind wing. Hind wing present, and this hind wing they always arise from metathorax. Right. This is how the whole structure look like. Now, this structure, this is also called as a pronotum. 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 Now, towards the end side, you can see these structure arises. Which is called as a anal cerci. So, they are called as a anal cerci. anal cerci. So, this is how the whole cockroach look like. The whole region, the first region is head, then they have as a thorax present and after that this region, the 10 segment region is present which is called as a the abdomen region. Abdomen. Abdomen region. So, this is a structure of a cockroach. This is how a cockroach look like. So, students note down this. So, question number 1, 2, 3, they are of 1 mark. 4, 5, 6, that is of 2 marks. Whereas, the rest is of 3 marks. 2 question of 3 marks and 2 question of 5 marks. So, let us start. The first question which is of a 1 mark. Name the tissue which contain Haversian canal. We know Haversian canals, they are present in bone. So, the correct answer for the question number 1 is mammalian bone, mammalian bone, right? For the for question number 1, correct answer is mammalian bone. Now, let us move forward for the second question. So, second question indicate mention two special properties of nervous system. There are nervous system in this the neurons are present and what neurons do? They help in the transmission of nerve impulse from one place to another. They can be 
motor type, the neurons can be a motor type, they can be a sensory type or they can be a interneuron type. In the special property of the nervous system, that means they carry a nerve impulse. So, the two properties which is present in case of the nervous tissue is the excitability and conductivity. So, first one is excitability. And second is they help in conduction of nerve impulse, conductivity, right? Now, listen to the things very carefully. Excitability, excitability means whenever any impulse come, either they are coming from any receptor which is present all around the body such as the eye is present, the skin is present, muscular tissues they are present, whenever any impulse come that is called as a excitability and later on that impulse which come they are being transported from one place to another basically it transported with the help of the neurons and these neurons they are connected to one another we have studied the same in the sessions so that could, that is called as a conductivity so these are the very important property of the nervous tissue excitability and conductivity let's move on to the next question Question number 3. Now, name the cells responsible for clotting of blood. Clotting of blood means whenever blood comes out from any wound. After some time, the blood coagulate over there. This is the property of a blood. Otherwise, the blood will keep on flowing and the keeps on flowing and ultimately will die. That means blood has to coagulate. And blood is coagulated because of one special type of cells which are called as a platelets. Which are called as a platelets. And what is the function of platelets? That is coagulation of blood. Coagulation of blood. Right? Various factors are there which help in coagulation around 13 factors are present which help in coagulation whenever a wound you must have experienced also whenever you found any wound all around the body you can see that blood is clotted over that place that is called as a coagulation and that is because of the platelets which is present in the blood in case of blood the three different corpuscles are present one is a rbc red blood corpuscles second is called as a wbc and third is called as a platelets so out of which the platelets they help in the coagulation along with that the function of platelet is also to protect ourselves right now let's move on to the next question and this question is from a separate category that is of a two marks What are the two type of fibers of connective tissue distinguish between the two? So as we have discussed in session regarding the connective tissue, now we have to discuss the two type of connective tissue. We know the two type of connective tissue are the first which is made up of the white fiber and second which is made up of a yellow fibers. So white and the second one is called as a yellow, yellow fiber. To talk about this white fibers, white fibers, first of all, they are inelastic. First feature is they are inelastic, inelastic, right? Whereas the yellow fibers, they are elastic. They are elastic fibers, right? Now, these white fibers, they are present in bundles. Present in bundles. Whereas, these yellow fibers, they are present singly. They are present singly. Right? The white fibers, they are thin fibers and they are wavy. When we see the structure of these, they are in the form of a wave. So, they are thin and wavy. Whereas, the yellow fibers, they are thick and straight.
thick and straight, right? These white fibers, they are unbranched. They are unbranched. Whereas these yellow fibers, they are branched. Both the fibers, they are made up of protein. Protein is different in both the cases. In case of the white fiber, the protein which is present, that is called as a collagen. That is called as a collagen. Whereas in case of the yellow fiber, the protein which is present, that is called as a elastin. So, have elastin protein. Right. These are the two type of fibers, connective tissue because they are discussing about the two type of fiber which is present in the connective tissue. The first one is called as a white fiber, second one is called as a yellow fiber. The main difference which lie in them is on the basis of protein which is present in them. In case of the white fiber, they have a collagen present, in case of the yellow fiber, they have is a elastin present. They are inelastic whereas these are elastic present in bundles, they are present in singly, thin and wavy, they are thick and straight, unbranched, they are branched and also the protein that we have already discussed. So, this was a question that is a question number 4. Now, let us discuss about a next question. Yes, this question is again of 2 marks. Which tissue do the following belong to? Basically, we have to discuss about these are the different cells, different cells present and we have to discuss where these are present. First we have is a osteocytes, osteocyte the name itself indicate they belong to bones. They belong to bones. The name indicate osteology is a study of bone and that is called as a bone and we have to discuss that they belong to bone. Next is a chondrocyte. Chondrocytes, they belong to cartilage. So, cartilage. Right students? After that, the neuroglia. Neuroglia is present where? In the nervous system or nervous tissue because they are asking about tissue, nervous tissue. Next we have is an intercalated disc. Intercalated disc is that disc which is present in the heart, which is present in the cardiac muscle. Right. So, this was again a next question that is a question number 5 and we have to discuss that from where these cells are present. First, we have is a bone, chondrocyte belong to cartilage, neuroglia belongs to nervous tissue, intercalated disc they are they belong to the cardiac muscle heart. Now, let us move on to the next question, question number 6. This is also of a two marks that is to differentiate in the blood and lymph, blood and lymph, very direct question, very easy also, blood and lymph. Let us first discuss about the color of blood. What is the color of blood? Color of blood is red in color, why? Because they have a RBC present in them. Red in color because of presence of RBC and what is RBC? That is a red blood cells. Whereas what is a lymph? Lymph is whitish colored fluid, whitish color fluid does not have RBC, does not have red blood cells, right. Now, 
क्वेश्चन अराइजेस वेयर ब्लड फ्लोस ब्लड फ्लोस इन कैपिलरीज वेयर एज द लिम्फ द लिम्फ फ्लोस इन लिम्फ कैपिलरीज ब्लड फ्लोस इन ब्लड कैपिलरीज flows in blood capillaries whereas the lymph flows in lymphatic vessels lymphatic vessels these are the two difference let's talk about some more difference blood when we talk about the function of blood what is the function function is that they help in transportation of what trans transportation of oxygen transportation of enzymes transportation of hormone transportation of excretory product this is a function of blood whereas a lymph the lymph protect us from any unwanted antigen which enter into our body so let's talk about blood blood helps in transportation of of gases and which gases that is oxygen that is carbon dioxide right even they also help in transportation of hormone hormone are also transported by the same mechanism and also they help in transportation of excretory product or excretory waste right whereas a lymph lymph protect lymph protect us from lymph protect us from pathogen which enter into our body and these pathogen because they are foreign molecule they are called as a antigen antigen and what is antigen that is a foreign molecule foreign molecule right now let's talk about some composition of blood blood have protein present in them whereas a lymph doesn't have protein so in this case the plasma which is present in the blood have protein right whereas in the lymph also the plasma is present and the plasma doesn't have lymph plasma doesn't have proteins right let's talk more about these two in case of blood blood flows in a blood capillaries when blood flows in a capillaries blood flow is maintained and the blood flow that is very fast whereas the lymph flow which flows in lymphatic vessel that is slow